Hello, welcome to Straw Family Farm Take Two. I'm Christy. Um, in the chapel, we have Matthew 5, 8. Blessed are the pure at heart, for they shall see God. Um, trying to keep my heart pure. Just had a lot of frustrations. Working on it. That kind of stuff. So, and, and you'll hear why. And you, you can only imagine, once I tell you why <laughs> I'm working on it, um, you'll go, mm, I get it. So, uh, I, it probably is going to be a short podcast today. I don't have a lot. My eye is kind of bothering me, so I haven't been putting my contacts. I slept till 8.30 this morning, which is something I never do. I'm always up at about 6 at the latest. That's sleeping in for me. 8.30 today is like, holy cow. But I was exhausted, and you shall see why. Um, all right, so totally hooked is a maybe. I, I don't know how else to say it. So I have it here and it's the poncho I've been working on. Okay. Now I had the odd little ball of yarn. I used every ounce. I didn't, when I divided it, it came close enough in this poncho to the rows that all the rows came out and I had just I don't know, little bits of yarn left on the div division part. So I wanted to make a scarf type uh, collar, but unfortunately I don't have enough to make it as long as I want. It looks dorky short. So I did the short one first and then said, eh, it's not enough. So I have my, see, I, I was gonna make a scarf one and it's not long enough. So, I came up with a different, and it's more like a cowl type collar, and I like it. It it does what I want. It is made to be. Let me flip this around. Lower in the back and poofier in the front. Um, I like it. I like that it doesn't go high up on my neck in the back because that always irritates me with my hair. But if you lay this out, and I haven't blocked it, so, you know, and if you lay this out, you end up with a collar like so. So it doesn't look bad. Just not sure that that's, I don't know if it's done or not. But the poncho itself is beautiful. I love it. Um, it is awesome. So I am super happy with that. Just don't know if I'm going to make the neck a little bit longer maybe a little drapier in the front. I don't know, don't know. I might actually go back and do it this style with a bigger hook so that it's a little bit looser looking because it is obviously a very tight looking collar compared to this that has the pattern in it. So I don't know, I, I'm still working that out. So I kind of have just set that aside. I haven't done anything since I got to that point. Um, the other thing I was working on is that corner to corner, and I think we discussed that last week. I got, so I had three skeins and a part of a ball. So I divided the part of the ball and the half skein, and then each side. So I have this much to do each side. So when I get to this, I literally need to start decreasing. So it's just my easy way of doing it, or at least I think it's easy. So I divided all of that, and this is as far as I've gotten, but I have not had a whole lot of time to work on it. So this is one full skein, and I started on the little part that was of the ball, and then I still have the half skein to do on this half of that. And again, if this does not come out big enough for a newborn baby, it will be a doggy blankie. So I think the dogs are hoping. No, <laughs> I'm teasing. I don't know. So those two, I have some other things planned, and I'll just show you. Um, a lot of them are for work. So Valentine's Day, I made those hearts for everybody to put, show the love type stuff in at work. Well, there's 14 of us at work there, and I'm going to do these green. Um, and I'm going to do them shamrocks and just make, you know, leave the top open. And then we just take tacks and put them on our little board, and everybody can show the love to everybody else. Um, with thank you notes or you make me smile or just little happy notes 
And I'm going to make sure that every one has a little happy note in it by St. Patrick's Day. Um, the other thing that we were doing along with that is a girlfriend, uh, Mona. She's the other CSR at work. And she is also kind of crafty. And sorry, I'm fidgety today. I'm just, uh, so, uh, I, she made two little gnomes and we're going to do an elf on the shelf kind of thing, adult version. She made two gnomes. They're very big. They came out bigger than what she thought. She says, I might make some smaller ones. We'll see. And I said, okay, so we're going to play find them. It's a leprechaun gnome. So she's calling it a leopardome, and you have to bring the leopardome home for a surprise. So we're going to hide, we have two of them, we're going to hide them throughout the um, clinic next week, and pretty much they bring them to us, and we are going to have a little stash of things. I'm not going to say what, in case anybody watches this from work, and we're going to give those out every time the gnome comes home, or leopardome, 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 anyway. So... That is going on. Also, I donated a shrug to the Humane Society for a silent auction. Um, it's a blue, just your basic shrug. One size fits all. But now, I've got to find a way to display it. And I only know two people uh, that are doing this from the Humane Society that I donated this for. And those two people may or may not be there. So normally when I do this, I allow them to use my stands, my big um, heavy metal, I don't know what you want to call them, cast iron, that's it, cast iron tees, and I display it on there. Um, I normally put a pillowcase of a solid color over it and then put it on there and it looks like a form. I'm not doing that because those are expensive and... I want it back <laughs> so and they're not sure and the one lady I talked to she says yeah she goes unless you're gonna be there to take it home after the auction I wouldn't because there's no telling where it will end up I said okay so and it's just an auction to raise money for the Humane Society okay uh, work is sponsoring it so I came up with another way to display it and I have this brown hanger and I am going to cover it, make a little removable cover with this lovely little piece of um, fabric. It's actually an old piece of upholstery and I wanted it to hold up so it'll be like so. And then I have this little thing that I was using and it got stained and so I'm gonna cut around the stain. I'm just gonna make a couple of flowers just the round ones. You know how you make the circle and then you stitch around it and pull it together and then put a button in the center. And I'm going to put those three because this matches. Okay. It matches very well. And so I'm going to make three, two or three little flowers to put at the collar. And I am going to make it so that it can snap so they can take it off of this hanger. Um, so if I get it back for a display, fine. If I don't, I'm not worried. <laughs> Does that make sense? So they could no, the hanger doesn't go with it, but if it ends up going with it, I'm not out a lot of money, and I'm not out something that I have to replace. It's a hanger and some fabric, my time. Sure, we'll use it again if I get it back. If I don't, I'm not out. So I'm gonna make that today and the shamrocks today. Um, I have to go and get some things for the house. I'm sorry. If I didn't say this before, I, I'm just really exhausted and I didn't get up until 8.30, which sleeping in for me is 6.30. That's, ooh, I slept in. I didn't get up till 8.30. So reason being, um, I have those things I'm working on. I've got the household stuff to do. I got to go mail some bills. Um, I got to pay the electric bill for RJ. He is in Florida. I talked to him, or we're just texting. I talked to him last night. They had made it to Florida. They left 7 p.m. Tuesday night. 
drove all night. They didn't want a bunch of traffic. They didn't want a bunch of whatever. They stopped once to walk the horses and take a break. It, when you are traveling with horses or any livestock really, um, you have to get them out. They cannot stay in that trailer and not move around for long trips. So if you've followed us long enough, you know that no more than every four hours you stop and you walk them. So when we went to Texas, we, it was an eight hour trip. We stopped and walked them when they were in the middle of it. So we loaded them. They'd been walking around normal until then. We'd load them up. Four hours later, we had a little stop that we always used because we went the same route and we walked them then. But you got to give them 20, 30 minutes, you know? So it's a, a little bit longer of a stop even though the guys had eaten they had snacks in the truck they're good to go they could have pushed straight on through but the horses can't so they stopped walked them kind of hung out got them back in the trailer hit the road again and i believe they've had to do that they left at seven and then yesterday uh when i text they had just crossed the florida state line and they'd walked them twice, I believe. So it, it is a jaunt from Oklahoma to Florida. So, and I'm not sure if they're in the northern and southern Florida. I, I don't know. So I'm going to ask him today, but I try not to inundate him with calls. I don't know what night he's roping. Um, he could have roped last night and I wouldn't know. Um, I'm kind of, he's a big boy. <laughs> yes, I want to know. Yes, I've always traveled with him. Yes, he started traveling on his own. Uh, so, anyway, um, he's my baby boy. What can I say? So, um, that is what it is. And like I said, he is there safe. He is with two other people. It's not like he's by himself. And what will be, will be. And I'm praying to God it is a great one and i know with you guys just sending all your vibes and mojo i know he's he's gonna do great so um the other thing that i had going on while rj was doing on the day that rj left to go to florida our office got a new phone system now i have not done a project like this since i was in my 20s or 30s we had someone overseeing it that screwed it up she was removed from the project which left us in a lurch um it was at corporate office that she was out she, apparently she didn't prepare us properly for this and so i have already done a project like this when i went into the training i asked a few key questions that, he, that they were not aware of they were like we have to get this fixed i said yeah because the answer is that were given to us weren't going to work um they said well we told them we had five lines they thought we only had two um that's a problem when you're doing one and porting them in to we're going from a hard wired phone to a virtual system and it's all internet based so yeah that's an issue the other issues were some that popped up um our overhead paging they should have shipped us a new amplifier that actually will connect to the system we have an analog one it uses the in and out video old cords they can't make it work with the virtual system so um it's actually hooked to a, an old stereo so that we can use it. yeah it, it's it's old school okay we were analog phones and there was no upgrading done in the center of it and so basically we didn't go from analog to digital and separate voice and data we just it's still all analog it worked so we never did anything and now we're going virtual so there was a process skipped in there over the years and going from old school to virtual bring it into the new age <laughs> is is a little tricky um not if you have the right equipment but like I said, the first lady did not ask the proper questions, so it has hindered us a lot. Um, our credit card machine was analog. Our care credit card machine was analog. Um, 
Let's see what else. Our fax machine. It was on a network, but only in the sense that when you scan it, it goes to a certain folder. So, yeah. Um, and all of our stuff is hardwired in. None of it is Bluetooth or, vir or uh, wireless. So that's the other issue. It's all hardwired in, but... Anyway, so um, this week I haven't had time to work on a lot of things, so I've got a lot to get done today, including my grocery shopping. Um, I've paid RJ's bills today. <laughs> um, his was easy because he was going to be gone and he forgot to do it. And anyway, so I have, I literally have gone old school in some place on this table where I have all my stuff gathered that I got to get done today. Here it is. I have a list. I, I literally wrote myself a list. Um... I've got the shamrocks to do. The podcast was on there so that I would make sure that I had time. I like to do it once a week. And even if it's a short one, that's what I, you know, I just like to be at least once a week. And I have been answering questions. As you guys saw, I've been doing some little clips in between. And I kind of like that too. Um, I have a list shopping and bills is on there rj's bill was actually on there and it's the only thing crossed out um podcast will be crossed out next so i did get the christmas and fall stuff instead of storing it in my bedroom on the thing in totes it is now back up in the attic yay it's a march but hey i got it done okay it takes me and roommate to do it so um it was one of those deals uh a lot going on that doesn't really it just takes my time but it doesn't show any tangible finished thing you know um, the phone system we got it up and running I was supposed to be off Tuesday the rollout was Tuesday I was the only one there that has actually used this system and ever put a system in place so I stepped up and said okay let's just do this and the IT guy on the property was having me test lines because he is but one person and our home office was literally telling him he had the office phone on one ear his cell phone on the other ear and two people from our office telling him to do two different things um, he is but one man and it was because everybody was stressed they needed their they had a big list of stuff of problems that they were trying to fix he was the only IT on site and he's like okay we we've got to do this a fire at a time you I can't he literally told them both on the phone I have two phones up to my ear I can't do both there's only one of me so it was that stressful we got everything working we got something switched to doing them online we got what we thought was working I went home I was supposed to be there just an hour or two for the rollout, make sure everything works, test it all, and go home. So I went in at 9.30. It was also my boss's birthday, and we put a little thing together for her. So an hour of that was me on my own time. Okay. So I was there from 9, oh, hour and a half, 9 to 10.30 on my own time. I gave Shelby an hour and a half for her birthday. That's fine. Mona and I had put together, Mona's my cohort in crime up at the front desk. And um, we had put that together. We both donated an hour and a half just to go up there and we decorated her door and, and the, the break room and we had all these flowers everywhere and, and these little spiral things coming down from the ceiling. It was really cute. Um, we got her a few gift cards and stuff. Everybody from the office threw in. So she felt loved and that was the important part. So, um, that was Tuesday and I was there till six o'clock and still didn't have everything ironed out. So IT would yell at me. I'd test something. And in the meantime, I had my uniform on because I was at work presenting for work. So anytime a customer needed me, I still stopped and helped them. So yes, I was there for IT and I was there to do the phones, but this is the way it went and it's okay. So, um, I got everything tested. We had small glitches Tuesday, um, some of which we thought we had ironed out when we left. 
went in Wednesday morning and I thought, just got to get through Wednesday. I have all day Thursday off. Um, and I looked at the girls and I said, and if we get this all lined out and we're slow this afternoon, I'm going to go home just a little early. I was supposed to stay till 630. Um, so, uh, I got there that morning and so we use a eight by eight bridge for tech support and our, our branch manager, um, our hospital manager has it on a tablet in her office. She didn't come in until 9.30. Now, remember, we thought we had everything ironed out. Okay, let, let me say that first. We thought we had everything ironed out and fit functional. So, I wasn't in the bridge. I wasn't on the team's uh, meeting for that. I have this lovely thing. If anything goes wrong, this is how you get tech support because you have a designated person for the first two days. So, I come in and the credit card machine wasn't working. I have no numbers, I have no bridge access, and I have nothing. So I stole a number off the caller ID, called him, I said, I don't know if it's inappropriate or not, but this is what's going on. I got a phone call back, I had to leave it on his voicemail, I got a phone call back within probably 15 minutes, and he says, well, I'm calling, I guess he hadn't talked to Jamie, the other guy, it was Ivan. And Ivan called and he says, I haven't talked to Jamie. And I said, well, here's the thing is we're putting the facts on the back burner again because he was going to help me finish out two things that we had to get done, but we can function without them. So we, uh, we stopped that again. And I said, our credit card machine isn't working. He says, it was working last night. And I said, yes, sir. I said, we closed out for the night. I was here with Tamara. We closed it out. We don't turn it off. I said, I have already reset it so that it would see the digital if it was still programmed analog or whatever and he goes that's not going to work he says that's we can't have you without a credit card machine he says okay we're going to put the fax thing on the back burner again and him and i just both laughed i said how many times has that been said and he just laughed so we got ivan to get josh i got into the port he got me into the bridge he goes okay we're gonna put the bridge on your computer so I got the bridge on my computer and I was all day back and forth with Josh. They brought the IT guy back who was only slotted to be on site one day. And that was Tuesday. So Wednesday, he comes through and I was like, welcome back, Devin. <laughs> he just started laughing. He goes, this is not going well. And uh, so he got the credit card machine. Where he had to run all new line. Um, and then reconfigure something again to make it see something I don't know. And the other credit card machine that's called Care Credit is now web based, which I got that. Then we had small things like our pharmacy line was ringing into the lab. The lab was ringing because you have to have now it's not just plug it into the right outlet to the right phone and it goes to the right one doesn't work that way anymore it's all pre-programmed in and so I had to reboot things and get one drop and then we got it to ring to the right phone but then we couldn't get the voicemail to go to the right phone. <laughs> so because they're separate so when you change it it doesn't automatically change your voicemail so yeah we had stuff like that the fact stuff when I left at four o'clock I looked at Shelby and I said look I'm done uh, my head is swimming Everything is functioning fine. We just can't fax. There's other ways around it. We'll email it for right now. Um, because we can do that from the virtual desktop, not the hard desktop. And there is a difference. So when you sign in at your work, you're normally signing into a virtual desktop. But then admin has control of the hard desktop. But they put one of our applications on the hard desktop. And it won't see all the files or the file I needed it to see. It sees everybody else's workstation, but it doesn't go into the shared folders. So we have that issue going on. We worked around it. Uh, the last thing that Ivan said was, we may have to go to a virtual based or web-based scan or fax system. I told Shelby, I said, I have used two or three of those. I know what I'm doing. Just get me in it. Just find out what service they want to use. Get me a login and account number. I will set it up. 
And she looked at me and she goes, okay. And I said, I'm going home. She said, okay. I still have Friday to go and a half day Saturday. And today is my only day off. So welcome to my world. I haven't run a project. I wasn't ready to run that project. If I had been, I think I'd be okay with it. It's one stressful week. I worked, you know, a complete day that I was supposed to have off because I already had extra hours scheduled to do the whole thing. Yeah, yeah. To work my regular hours at the office. And so it is what it is. I got it done. You know what I mean? So, but you can't just walk up to the fax machine and fax out. Oh, well. <laughs> That's what I told them. Oh, well. Don't care. I can do it web-based. And I was like, okay, bye. Have a nice time off. And Shelby was like, she's leaving. And they all just looked at me and said, they're leaving. I'm leaving. I've been at this for, you know, two days. My mind is swimming. I've put out fires that weren't mine. And if the other lady had done her job, none of these would have been fires in, in the first place. So, yeah. Um, it is what it is. We got through it. It was very stressful. Shelby was, you know, very great. She's like, oh my God, I couldn't have done all this without you. Because she had other fires that she had to go in and do. Because I'm not allowed to have. She's a hospital um, administrator. So, she has to have the passwords to all of the voicemails um, just to set them up. So like our refill line, when you call in, you hit option three. Hey, I need to get my dog's um, Trazodone refilled and they leave their name and their phone number and blah, blah, blah. And I said, okay. So she has to go in and create all those. Thank you for calling BCA. And she has to record. That's what she was supposed to spend Tuesday doing. That's all she was supposed to have to do. She had all of those to do. And then they went to the wrong one. So then she had to redo. And then in amongst all of this, I'm trying to teach everybody on the fly so that they actually can use the phones. Because you don't even, you can pick them up to answer them. But they ring, ring in groups. Whereas through our clinic, everybody pulls the load. So if it's ringing and there's only two CSRs and it's still ringing, a tech will pick it up in the back and just simply ask them to please hold. So yeah, it is what it is. Um, our system does not send them to voicemail if it's not picked up. We, we don't like doing that. And that is only for after hours. So we had to fix the ring groups and make it ring throughout the whole clinic and and just yeah so it is what it is but it's all working that's all i can say it's all working um let's see what else just there were so many problems um we got them all fixed except for faxing and the overhead and the overhead I, I don't have the physical piece of equipment to install so therefore not gonna work and Devin will actually have to come back and install that because they said it has to be rewired <laughs> and I'm like I don't do wiring I said I can do software I can do apps I can do thing but when I did a project like this when you installed a fax machine you ran from the D mark to the box and from the box an actual physical cord to plug it in there were no apps. Every company, it, whether it be flood certification, MLS, um, credit bureau, um, any of those things. Remember, I did mortgages. So any of those things had their own machine. You simply plugged the phone line in, picked up the handset. If you had a dial tone, the machine was ready. You faxed through it, you did whatever, but it actually had a hand held on it because you could actually answer that line if it was a voice call that came through. So, yeah, you could pick them up and use them as spare phones and just dial the phone and talk voice on them. There, there was no, you know what I'm saying? So our extra phone lines to call out were always our extra machines. Well... It's not that way anymore. I said, unless you're going to have me just plug that baby in, this girl ain't doing it. And Devin says, no, it has to be totally hardwired and, and reconfigured. And I said, that reconfigured word, I ain't doing. 
I'm not reconfiguring anything. So Devin is slow to come back and put in our overhead paging for right now. We literally have two phones on our sys. We're using the old phone just for paging and the new phone just for phone calls. Yeah, it is what it is. So, um, yeah. Anyway, so that was fun, fun, fun day. <laughs> I have a lot to get done. I'm going to get off of here. And those are my only two items. RJ's in Florida. He's safe. I haven't talked to him today, but I just talked to him less than 12 hours ago. So, I'm good. <laughs> we'll see how he did. If he, I don't know if he wrote last night, but we'll find out. I'm going to get all these lovely things done today and probably be totally exhausted again tonight. <laughs> get through this week and I'll be back on track. Talk to y'all later. Say a prayer for us. Bye.